So now we're going to create a Fresnel Orchestrator flow to solve the problem. So we're going to call this DCU, DCU, say I've been provisioning. And we're going to use a couple of different things that we weren't using on Mac OS, and we'll see that here. So we're going to select Windows, let's go All Devices, and let's, let's do something fun. So we're going to do a condition this time. And we're going to go application. Application exists. So I want to show you how this works a little bit. So it shows one match is found. So see if here, if I go, there we go. So you can see how it's not finding anything. But then if we bounce this back up to the right version, then you can see here, now it finds version 1.0, which is great, which is what we're shooting for. So we want what we want this to say is, if it finds that, then we want it to go ahead and push the script. So you see here we have this configured DCU script that we want it to run. But we can actually do a little more up here, right? We're going to add an else. So within the else, so if it doesn't have that, then what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and it's going to push Dell command update. Least available, that's fine. And then it will push the script. So you can see here, what we've done is we've created a workflow that says, let's see if it has the app. If it does have the app, then just run the script. If not, install the app and run the script. And so it's really just that simple. When we get back, we will see what that end result looks like. So we'll take you back here for a minute. So on the device itself, one of the things you can do when the workflow hasn't shown up yet is you can do a query for workflows. And this is where it actually requests it to go and sync that workflow. So we're just going to pause it for another minute while the processing of the workflow finishes. We're back and it's currently running, which is fine because it means it's kind of doing its thing. But I just want to show you, you know, so we don't get rebooted on. So now when we open Dell command update, you're going to see a completely different story. As we go in here, you're now going to see, oh, we've got update settings. Okay, let's download and install on Thursdays. BIOS, you don't, you can't really see it visibly, but it's actually pushed that down there. As you can see here, now we have a fully functional DCU. And actually, as part of the script, it's going to end up doing the initial updates and doing a reboot. But that just shows you just the power of it. And once this all comes back, we'll be good to go.